you know, it's one of the big questions, are we alone in the universe? Um, of course, you can never say yes, but we might be able to say definitively no, there is life beyond Earth. Scientists are going mad about an astonishing discovery that NASA kept secret for eight weeks. The James Webb Space Telescope captured something that's left top physicists speechless. Strange heat patterns in deep space that shouldn't exist naturally. Brian Cox himself suggests we might be seeing the first evidence of an alien megastructure bigger than entire solar systems. Could this be the moment that changes everything? The mysterious JWST Deep Field Anomaly. So, the James Webb Space Telescope captures this mind-blowing deep field image, showing thousands of galaxies in a tiny patch of sky, literally the size of a sand grain held at arm's length. But here's where it gets wild. NASA quietly held back one specific section of this image for a whole eight weeks. They claimed it was for data calibration issues, but come on, who needs eight weeks for calibration? When NASA subcontractor Dr. Eleni Vasquez finally reviewed this mysterious segment, she was completely shocked. The infrared signature showed patterns that simply shouldn't exist according to everything we know about space. It wasn't just some random cosmic dust or gas cloud. This was something completely different from anything we've ever documented before. The weirdest part? When scientists analyzed the complete spectral data, they found non-random pulse gaps with regular intervals. In normal people terms, there was a rhythm to the light, something that doesn't just happen naturally in space. When they ran it through this math thing called Fourier transformation, basically a way to find hidden patterns in signals, they discovered structured periodicity. This is huge because nature rarely creates such precise patterns unless there's something very specific going on or unless it's artificial. This is where Brian Cox comes in, one of the most respected physicists on the planet. He looked at the data and said something that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. This kind of structured periodicity isn't seen in natural sources unless there's a rotation or artificial gating mechanism. Let that sink in. He's basically hinting that what we're looking at could be artificial, as in made by something intelligent. What's so mind-blowing is that scientists have always said that if we ever detect signals from advanced civilizations, they would stand out precisely because they'd have this kind of non-random mathematical structure. Nature makes patterns, but rarely with this level of precision. And now we might be looking at exactly that kind of pattern. When a scientist of Brian Cox's caliber even suggests the possibility of an artificial origin, we need to pay attention. This could be the discovery of the century, maybe of all human history. The heat signature that shouldn't exist. When researchers dug deeper into this anomaly, what they found left them absolutely speechless. The infrared data showed a heat signature that forms distinct concentric thermal rings, a pattern that doesn't match any known natural astronomical phenomenon, like none, zero, zip. Nothing in our scientific catalogues looks anything like this. What makes this so freaky is that these thermal rings weren't random. They showed a precise pattern of decreasing temperature from the center outward. The innermost part was hottest, with each surrounding layer getting progressively cooler in a super-organized way. This is exactly what scientists have theorized would be the heat signature of something called a matryoshka brain. If you're not familiar with this concept, and why would you be, it's mind-blowing stuff. Theoretical physicist Robert Bradbury proposed the idea. It's basically like Russian nesting dolls, but on a cosmic scale. Imagine multiple concentric shells built around a star, each capturing energy radiating outward from the one inside it. Unlike a Dyson sphere, which mainly harvest energy, a matryoshka brain would be designed specifically for computing power, potentially housing an entire digital civilization. 
Each shell operates at a different temperature to maximize thermodynamic efficiency. And here's the kicker. This is precisely the thermal pattern that appears in the JWST anomaly. It's like we're looking at the waste heat from some kind of mega engineering project that's harnessing the energy of an entire star. What makes this discovery so compelling isn't just the pattern itself, but the fact that no known natural phenomenon creates this kind of thermal distribution. Stars, nebulae, gas clouds, galaxy collisions, they all produce completely different infrared signatures. This stands apart from absolutely everything in our astronomical catalogues. Think about what this means. We might be looking at the heat signature of an alien megastructure built around an entire star. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's actual observational data from the most advanced telescope ever built. If confirmed, this would be the first direct evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. Not just microbes or simple life form, but a civilization so advanced they've engineered structures on a scale that dwarfs anything humans have ever built. The Voyager 2 connection that left NASA speechless. This next part is going to blow your mind even more. In what might be one of the most insane coincidences in the history of astronomy, the JWST wasn't the only instrument to detect something weird from this exact region of space. Around the same time, billions of kilometers away at the edge of our solar system, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft experienced something unexplainable. This legendary probe, now traveling through interstellar space, it left our solar system years ago, recorded a slight deviation in its star tracker system, the sensitive instrument that helps it navigate by fixing on the positions of distant stars. Under normal circumstances, this minor glitch would have been dismissed as instrument noise or just a random error. But here's the insane part. When engineers traced the coordinates of this glitch, they discovered it aligned with the exact same direction as the JWST deep field image containing the anomaly. This is the kind of coincidence that makes scientists extremely uncomfortable because they don't believe in coincidences of this magnitude. We're talking about two entirely separate instruments, one at the edge of our solar system and one in Earth orbit, both detecting anomalies from the same exact region of space at roughly the same time. What could possibly affect instruments across such vast distances? The possibilities are both thrilling and slightly terrifying. Whatever caused the anomaly in the JWST image might be significant enough to have some kind of effect across billions of kilometers of space, either through some unknown physical mechanism or through some kind of directed energy that we don't yet understand. NASA hasn't publicly connected these two incidents. Of course they haven't, but sources inside the agency confirm that this alignment has raised serious questions about what might be happening in that particular region of space. Multiple observatories have reportedly been quietly redirected to focus on this area, though this hasn't been officially announced. This connection between the JWST anomaly and the Voyager 2 glitch adds an entirely new dimension to the mystery. It suggests we're dealing with something that operates on a scale far beyond anything we've encountered before. Something with effects that can be detected across the vast emptiness of space by completely different types of instruments. If confirmed, this would represent not just evidence of alien technology, but technology so advanced it can make its presence felt across interstellar distances. The fractal dust patterns that shouldn't be possible. When researchers zoomed in to examine the dust ring surrounding the anomaly at higher resolution, they discovered something that absolutely defies conventional astrophysical explanation. The dust doesn't disperse randomly, as we'd expect in typical stellar environments. Instead, it exhibits a striking fractal repetition pattern, a mathematical signature that appears at multiple scale. The pattern was so unusual that astrophysicists actually brought in biologists to examine the data. Their assessment was jaw-dropping. One noted, this symmetry is more reminiscent of biology than astrophysics. 
These patterns appear throughout living systems on Earth because they're mathematically efficient solutions for growth and energy distribution. While natural astrophysical processes can create beautiful structures like the hexagonal cloud pattern on Saturn, they rarely produce the specific type of nested recursive patterns seen in the dust ring. These patterns typically emerge from growth processes found in living systems or from intentional design. Some researchers have cautiously suggested this might be evidence of what astrobiologists call a galactic-scale biosignature, a sign of life operating at dimensions far beyond anything we've imagined possible. The implications are mind-boggling. If these patterns truly reflect biological principles at work, we may be observing not just technology, but the extension of life processes to astronomical scale. This blurs the line between technology and biology in ways we've barely begun to contemplate. Perhaps at a certain level of advancement, the distinction between artificial technology and biological processes breaks down entirely. Maybe what we're seeing is some kind of hybrid, a form of engineered biology operating at cosmic scale, or biological principles applied to technological megastructures. Either way, these fractal dust patterns suggest something that follows precise mathematical rules, rather than the chaotic processes we typically associate with cosmic phenomena. And mathematics, as we know, is often considered the universal language. The one thing that would be common between our understanding of the universe and that of any other intelligent species, no matter how different from us they might be. The light delay that breaks physics as we know it. Here's where things get truly weird, like breaking the laws of physics weird. When analyzing the light from this anomalous region, Astronomers discovered something that shouldn't be possible, according to everything we understand about how the universe works. The reflected light appeared to lag by approximately 12 seconds compared to what would be expected based on the object's distance and redshift. This is insane because light speed is supposed to be constant. It's one of the fundamental constants of the universe. At first, we thought it was an instrument error, explained one of the researchers analyzing the data. But after exhaustive calibration checks, we confirmed the delay is real. The light is arriving later than it should be, according to everything we know about how light travels through space. The alternative explanation ventures into territory that makes most scientists deeply uncomfortable. The possibility of engineered time dilation. In theory, a sufficiently advanced civilization might develop technology to manipulate space-time itself, creating regions where time flows differently, similar to what happens naturally near black holes, but controlled and stable. Just think about that for a second. We might be looking at evidence of a civilization so advanced they can manipulate the fundamental fabric of space-time itself. This is technology so far beyond our current capabilities that it borders on what Arthur C. Clarke famously meant when he said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. While NASA hasn't officially commented on these findings, sources within the agency confirm that a technical review has been initiated internally to examine the data more thoroughly. Several independent observatories have also been quietly redirected to focus on this region of space. The fact that light itself, the cosmic constant upon which much of our understanding of the universe is built, behaves unexpectedly in this region raises profound questions about what we're actually observing. If this phenomenon isn't the result of natural processes, then what could it be? This light delay may be the smoking gun that proves we're looking at something far beyond our current technological understanding. Brian Cox's Perspective on Alien Megastructures Brian Cox has never been one to shy away from big ideas, and his perspective on the possibility of alien megastructures is absolutely fascinating. While many scientists dismiss the idea of finding evidence of advanced extraterrestrial engineering, Cox takes a refreshingly open-minded approach. This isn't the first time astronomers have detected strange behavior from distant stars. In 2015, KIC 8462852 
better known as Tabby Star, captured worldwide attention when it displayed unusual dimming patterns that couldn't be easily explained by planets or dust clouds. When asked about Tabby's star, Cox didn't dismiss the more extraordinary explanation. Instead, he acknowledged that an alien megastructure wouldn't be horrendously surprising given what we know about the universe and its potential for complexity. Cox has frequently discussed the concept of Dyson spheres, hypothetical megastructures that completely encompass a star to capture nearly all of its energy output. First proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960, these structures represent what might be the logical progression for any civilization with growing energy needs. Brian Cox's perspective on such discoveries is refreshingly clear. They must be investigated rigorously, not dismissed out of hand. If someone makes a discovery that looks like a signal of intelligent origin, it should not be shrugged off as nonsense. He stated, it should be investigated further with an open mind. Cox represents a growing consensus among serious scientists that the search for techno-signatures, evidence of technology rather than biology, may be our best chance at detecting advanced civilization. And the JWST anomaly fits precisely the profile of what such a techno-signature might look like. What makes Cox's perspective so valuable is that he maintains scientific rigor while still being open to extraordinary possibilities. He doesn't jump to conclusions about aliens, but he also doesn't dismiss the possibility out of hand like many of his colleagues. His approach is exactly what we need when confronting potential evidence that could rewrite our understanding of humanity's place in the cosmos. The Dark Forest Hypothesis why advanced aliens might hide. Here's a totally different perspective that's blowing people's minds. What if this signal wasn't meant for us at all? What if we've accidentally glimpsed something that was never intended to be seen? This brings us to a fascinating concept called the Dark Forest Hypothesis, popularized by physicist and science fiction author Liu Chixin. It suggests a chilling explanation.